zero for his routine. I'm feeling kind of under the weather today. So this is going to be short and sweet and to the point. We're going to start with Terrence and Turner as Joseph, it's his swan song, probably his last day in the Big Brother house for the next 24 hours. As it seems the outside, the, the cams came back on. Spoiler girl was right. It, the nominations are now Kyle and Joseph next to each other. All seems like a ploy to try and help Kyle out even more if they can convince the inside that Joseph was the the one that threw the leftovers under the bus. I don't know how believable that will be. I mean, Michael and Brittany would probably know the truth. We'll get to that part in a second. Terrence thinking he could just join this all-white alliance and like he's not going to be the very bottom is ridiculous. He is setting the, the game back, well, only two seasons, but Turner going along with it. I see people trying to maybe attack Turner personally because he's joining the all-white alliance. Possibly, I, I don't know if Turner has much of a choice right now if he does this after the groups get back together then maybe a point can be made there. However, I do believe that Turner can and should be attacked for his lousy game. I've been saying for quite a while now how Turner is just a coaster in this game, and once again, I'm proven right. Baby, I am batting 900 this season. And I'm doing better than last season doing these breakdowns of the gameplay and predictions. Turner showing again that he's willing to try and just coast to this new alliance, except this alliance would not work well for him at all. You can attack Turner for thinking still that he needs to stay close to Kyle and that Kyle would take him to the end like he's really Kyle's number one and not Alyssa. Maybe we'll get more insight when the game joins again. We'll see if Turner actually brings something to the table. But throughout this entire game, Turner has been a coaster. He gets told what to do, and he usually just goes along with it. It worked for him with the leftovers because he could have played the middle. But on this new alliance, he's just towards the bottom with Terrence. Maybe there could still be a, a middle if it somehow broke down Michael and Brittany versus Kyle and Alyssa. But we're still too far away from that for this to seem like a good idea from Turner. The game is harder for Turner to coast at this point. And I still see fans trying to act like there's good pl players this season. And there's just there's just not good players this season. People trying to say Kyle's playing a good game. No, much like I said about Amira and Nicole towards the start of this game. It's not that Kyle's a good player. It's just that he's the most aggressive player. That's what Amira and Nicole were the first two weeks. That's why they were getting their way kind of the first two weeks. Is because nobody else was gaming very hard. But they were gaming hard and they were making headway because they were gaming hard. It's the same situation with Kyle. Everybody else is playing this passive ass game. It makes Kyle just, just playing hard easier for him because nobody else really seems to do anything that isn't passive. This is what happens when there's just totally bad gameplay like there is this season. You could just play hard and it could work out for you because there's no real pushback. Turner just wants to be a coaster at all times. And I don't know if this is the week for Turner to make a move, but at some point he's he can't just be a coaster forever and expect to win this game. If he were to get to the end with maybe Kyle and Alyssa, with one of them in the final two next to Turner, he could probably win. But... To be able to coast all the way there, I don't know. The inside kind of see Turner as at the bottom of the leftovers now anyway. Not knowing what's exactly gone on outside, but still it speaks to Turner's kind of position within the game now after Kyle blew up the leftovers. And to further show that Kyle's not some good player, he's just playing with really terrible players, look no further than Terrence. Terrence, who constantly tries to play with players that have voted him out prior when he's been on the block. And sometimes this is good gameplay. Sometimes people vote against you. You try and make headway with them. It can work out for you. But when that has consistently now been Terrence's only play to try and buddy up to Nicole and Daniel, even when they voted against him or knew he was, they were plotting against him. And now again with people like Alyssa, 
it just really shows how terrible Terrence's gameplay is. That he constantly has to work with people that are voting against him. And it's getting late in the game now. He hasn't made real headway with anyone. So now this is what he's forced himself into. It's not good gameplay. Terrence has a, a, one of the most abysmal social games in a long time. And let's face it. If Terrence was even half as crafty as he thinks he is. His target this week would have been Turner. He should have took down Joseph and put up Turner and Kyle and got Turner voted out because you cut the person who is also trying to be a coaster like Terrence and you also send Kyle and Joseph back into the game possibly going against each other and going against Michael which Joseph has said he wants to do. Terrence could be setting him up himself up to go completely under the radar with the big targets going after each other but instead he wants to be at the bottom of an alliance and if these players continue to play passive next week if monty or taylor don't win the hoh you best believe it's going to be the entire house versus those two most likely and everybody's favorite word optics is going to come back into play but I'm sure production thinks that is okay because Terrence can be Terrence the Token. And lastly, the, the gameplay is not the only thing I've been accurate about. I've been calling out production and their favorites all damn season. And just how this production team is overly produced and rigged, as people have said in my comments lately, it's true. This twist is a huge example. And if we look back at the first twist, how we all talked about how the first twist, the Festi Besties, was to protect the big alliance because they can use that kind of like the cookout did organically last season. This season, production wanted to, to be overly produced and rigged so that the big alliance could st stick together. And then they go and make this twist, which is to easily break up the big alliance. But you see what this does is it keeps the game from being organic. And the way that they chose this twist, people can say that they just threw this twist together and that they executed it badly. I don't think so. I think they did this purposefully. I haven't talked about this, but you know, Julie said during the rules that the two sides couldn't talk to each other, but Michael and Terrence talked to each other and Michael told Terrence to target Joseph. Almost as if production doesn't care and hopes that somehow if Terrence is at the bottom of this big white alliance, it makes the big white alliance less problematic. But they also just broke the rules of the twist. And production just sweeps it under the rug, of course, because that's what they do. But you see, to have one twist that sets up the big alliance powerfully for the first half of the game, and then just to suddenly make a twist to break up the big alliance inorganically, just shows that production wants to get their way no matter what production drives the game on this show far more than the players do especially when they cast a bunch of players like i've been talking about that don't play the game or suck at it like we had kyle telling Alyssa if he goes this week or soon that she needs to be one of the next people voted out so that they can have time together in jury and like Alyssa just agreed with it. You don't even see this this poor gameplay on Love Island. I've been I've said this a couple videos ago. Yeah, once in a while we will see somebody quit Love Island because they're just not finding love and they're actually there for love. But most people will still try and play the game and still try and get in couples. But Alyssa just wants to go to the jury with Kyle. That's the kind of people they are casting on this show. And the saddest part is. Alyssa could win this game. I think it's Chris Ludford in the comments. It's a Chris in the comments who keeps saying that if Alyssa and Kyle get to the end, and that seems to be the plan, and it seems to be working pretty well right now, that Alyssa could beat Kyle because of a bitter jury. And it's very, very possible that Alyssa could get to the end and win against Kyle, having done no gameplay this entire season. Sad state of affairs. Why is Alyssa even here? She's done nothing. And why should Alyssa care to go to the jury house with Kyle for a month? 30 days? Like, even if they fucked one time a day for 30 days, 
That's 300 seconds of sex.